Use Gem Blades. Use Gem Blades. Use Gem Blades. Gem Razors and Gem Blades present The Adventures of the Falcon. Yes, this is the Falcon. Oh, Nancy, I'm glad you called. What's on the program for tonight? <laughs> well, it sounds like an awfully dead evening, baby. But you could never tell. Tomorrow there may be morning. Once again, Gem Blades, the razor blades that help you avoid five o'clock shadow, bring you the adventures of the Falcon. The Falcon, as you know, is Michael Waring, freelance detective, who's always ready with a hand for oppressed men and an eye for repressed women. So join him tonight when the Falcon learns murder is a family affair. It's a rainy Tuesday evening in New York, and the city streets are deserted save for a dark red convertible which is parked at the curb. And at the wheel sits Brenda Sinclair, fondling her pet Pekingese, Wang Poo. No, 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 baby, don't be impatient. Daddy's going to meet us shortly. Then you and Mama are going to go far, far away where nasty mans can't find us. Hello, Brenda. Oh, Kenny, darling. Have you been waiting long? It seemed like years. That's just the way I felt in that hallway. Ray. Oh, hello, Sinclair. Fancy meeting you here. I thought I warned you to stay away from my wife. Brenda doesn't care about you. She hasn't for years. Ray, I'm leaving you. Really? Kenny and I are going away on a little trip. Maybe Kenny is, Brenda, but not you. Ray, put away that gun. What's the idea, Sinclair? I warned you to stay away from my wife, Kenny, but you wouldn't listen. Ray! Maybe this is the only language you can understand. Ray, don't! <laughs> oh. Sinclair, it is the judgment of this court that you be confined to state's penitentiary, and on the night of November 27th, you shall be electrocuted there as provided for by state law. And may God have mercy on your soul. Claire? Yes, sir. Some visitors for you. Hello, Mike. Nancy? Hello, Ray. Ray. Uh, have, have you heard anything yet? You better tell him, Mike. Ray, we... We just got back from seeing the governor. Bad news, huh? I'm sorry, Fernando. I wasn't very hopeful. No matter how you put it, I... I still killed a man in cold blood... Well, we Sinclairs never did have much luck with our women anyway. At least you'll be glad to know your brother Danny broke the jinx. Ah, oh, good for him. Too bad I never got a chance to meet his wife. What, what do you think of her, Nancy? Gloria is all right. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Danny deserves the best. He, he's a good kid. One in a million. He and Gloria are waiting at my apartment. Mike, I wonder if you'd do me a great favor. You don't have to ask, Ray. I'm a little worried about Danny. I'm afraid he may go off the deep end after this. You know, he always felt that Brenda was responsible for this mess. I understand. He's just a kid, Mike. He's got screwy ideas. Will you keep an eye on him? It's a promise. Mike, what, what time is it? Almost nine. <laughs> they, they say the last... 60 minutes are the toughest. Got a cigarette? Oh, sure. Have one, Nancy? Yes, please. No, not three on a match. <laughs> Mike, you're... You're going to stick around for the... like you do very much. 
It's all over, Gloria. I know. We heard the flash on the radio. Where's Danny? In the living room. How's he taking it? Not so good, Mike. If he'd only yell or or cry, I could understand it. But he just sits there and looks at the wall. He won't even talk to me. Shh. Hello, Danny. Hello. How's the boy? Great. Danny, I... I can't tell you... Mike... Mike, maybe Danny would like some coffee. Oh, that's a swell idea, darling. Why don't you make some? No, don't bother, Nancy. Danny, for heaven's sake, stop it. I'm sorry, Gloria. Danny, you've got to stop tormenting yourself. We know what you're going through. No, I don't think you do, Nancy. Uh, Mike, did you make all the funeral arrangements? Uh, No, you see, kid, it it was kind of taken out of my hands. Oh, what do you mean? Your sister-in-law, Brenda, claimed the body. Oh, good old Brenda. She doesn't miss a trick, does she? I hope there were plenty of sob sisters around to catch her act. Yes, she ought to get a headline out of it. And without any effort. All right, Danny, spill it. What have you got on your mind? Murder. Danny! That's right, Gloria. I got an appointment with with Brenda tonight. But I'm afraid she doesn't know about it yet. Danny, you're not being funny. I didn't intend it to be. Why don't you get wise to yourself? What? It's time you grew up. Try to be a man for a change and not a, a sniveling brat. Oh. I'm glad to find out what you think of me, Gloria. Oh, Danny, don't you see she's only telling you that for your own good? don't argue with him, Nancy. It isn't worth the effort. He'll go along all his life feeling sorry for himself, wondering why everybody picks on him. I've seen kids of ten with more stuff than he's got. Anything else you'd care to add? No, I've said my piece, Danny. Anytime you want to go, it's perfectly all right with me. Thanks for your permission, dear. Mike, don't let him. Danny, where'd you get that gun? It's yours. I got it out of your desk drawer. Let me have it. I'm sorry, friend. No can do. Danny, I want you to give me that gun. Now, Mike, you've been swelling me so... Please, don't make me do something I'll be sorry for. I'll stay where you are. Are you going to give me that gun? <laughs> I'll come closer next time, Mike. Danny, listen to me. I have, Gloria, and I've taken it very much to heart. So I'm just a kid making big talk, am I? Well, watch me change to a man of action. Now we have to worry about Danny and hope he'll realize that Brenda's not worth shooting. Well, there isn't anything I can do about that. But here's something I can do to help a lot of you who have five o'clock shadow. I can tell you that nine times out of ten men will stay face neat right around the clock by shaving the gem way. That is, with a gem razor and a genuine gem blade. I know it takes a definite effort on your part to change your shaving method, but I promise you that if you shave the gem way, your effort will be repaid every day of your life. Gem razors are again available at your dealers. Get one if you haven't one already, and begin immediately to enjoy gem's famous features, such as the clever face-fitting bevel, which compels you to use the master barber's long, gliding stroke. And, too, you'll like the way the super-keen gem blade gets the beard at skin level. So close, clean, and comfortable. So try the gem way, won't you? Avoid five o'clock shadow with a gem razor and gem blade. Now, back to the adventures of the Falcon. It's a few minutes later, and in Mike's apartment, the Falcon and Gloria listen anxiously while Nancy makes a call. Well, Nancy? Oh, the operator couldn't give me the number, Mike. Now, how are you going to warn Brenda? I really don't see why you people are so concerned. Danny won't do anything. You're wrong, Gloria. Look, Mike, I'm married to him. I know how he reacts. Why, Danny could no more kill her than I could. Basically, he's just a sweet kid. Just a sweet kid bent on murder. Well, then, you think he meant what he said? Every word. Well, well, then why don't you do something? I'm trying to, Gloria. Now, let me think. Now, you do that, Mike, but I'm not going to sit around and wait any longer. I'm going after Danny. Gloria, come back here. Let her go, darling. It'll give her something to occupy her mind. But shouldn't we phone the police or, or, or something? I'd rather not. If it ever gets out that Danny's gunning for his sister-in-law, it'll make a Roman holiday for the newsboys. Well, what do you think Danny will be doing meanwhile? In case you've forgotten, darling, that boy is wired for sound. And suppose we attempt a little short-circuiting. 
Maybe we can still beat him to her apartment. Get your coat, baby. It's worth a try. You did, Miss Brenda, didn't you, baby? Hmm? Come on, let's see who it is, darling. Oh, it's you, De Silva. What do you want? How can I talk to you when all the time you got that lousy dog in your lap? Don't speak that way about Wang Pu. Excuse me, please. Brenda, in the last month, you borrowed close to 12 grand from me. You'll get your money back. Sure. But when, Brenda? Any day, as soon as they settle Ray's estate. I got news for you, darling. What are you talking about? Papa didn't leave you a cent. He... How do you know? It's my business to know. There's a dirty double crosser, and after I gave him the best years of my life. <laughs> you know, for a smart dame, Brenda, you don't use your head so good. Twelve grand don't mean so much to the silver. Now you like me to call him off, huh? What's the catch, De Silva? You never gave away anything in your life. No catch? Just marry me. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> you could do worse. Why, you fat slob, I wouldn't have you for all the gold in your teeth. For <laughs> a damn who's in hockey, you're awful fussy. Don't make me laugh. Now go on, get out. You want to watch your mouth, girlie. Nobody ever talks to the silver like that. Are you threatening me, you big ape? Come on in. Hello, Brenda. Oh. Why, sugar plum, this is a surprise. It was awfully sweet of you to call. Isn't it sweet of me, too? Oh, Nancy, I didn't see you. Are we interrupting something? No, nothing important. Mr. De Silva was just leaving, weren't you, fat stuff? I'll have your little joke. <laughs> Maybe when you think him over, it won't be so funny. <laughs> oh, there, 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 darling. Did nasty man frighten Mama's baby? Isn't she sweet, Michael? Hmm. She's pedigreed, you know. Takes after her mother, doesn't she? Yeah. What did you mean by that crack? You exactly little... what now you girl, think girl, I mean. Girl, well, now. Nancy never liked me, Michael. You were the only one who ever understood me. <laughs> yes. Why, Sugar Plum? Oh, come now, Brenda. This is Sugar Plum, remember? He knew you when. Very funny. Well, what do you want? I don't suppose you came around to offer your condolences. No, but I came around to offer some advice. Your brother-in-law, Danny's gunning for you. Look, Mike, if that's all you've got to say, you can beat it. Little Brenda can look after herself. All right, darling, let's go. Okay. Oh, uh, Sugar Plum? Huh? Did Ray leave all his money to Danny? Why? Nothing. It just dawned on me that my brother-in-law isn't such a kid at that. He's got possibilities. The right woman could do a lot for him. Maybe the right woman could. But if I were you, I'd forget it, Brenda. Hmm. But then you're not me, dear. Because what I've forgotten, you'll never learn. Good night, you lovely people. <coughs> oh, oh, there, 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 sweetheart. Come to Mama. That's the sweet thing. Mama's little baby was so hungry, and I'm going... To... All right, all right, I'm coming. Danny, darling, I'm so glad you dropped in. Nothing could keep me away. Here, let me take your coat. Never mind. Now, Danny, don't be mean to Brenda. Now that poor Ray is gone, that just the two of us left. We've got to look out for one and... Danny... And he put away that gun. As soon as I finish. <laughs> You're frightening Wang Pu. What about you? Danny, you've got to believe me. It wasn't my fault. Are you quite fool? You're crazy, Danny. You're crazy. You'll never get away with it. They'll fry you like they did Ray. I don't think so. Danny, please, please. <laughs> I'm worried. But there's no reason to be, Nancy. When I think of Danny roaming the streets with a gun, I... Well, don't you worry about Brenda. That baby can take care of herself. And don't you know her? Yes, and don't I know... <coughs> well... And just how well did you know her before she met Ray, darling? Ah, saved by the bell. 
Come in. Mike. Mike, did you find Danny? No, didn't you? No, I, I looked everywhere. I even went up to Brenda's apartment. Well? There was no answer. Mike, I'm scared. But there's nothing to be scared about. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Falcon? Yes? This is Johnny Cleason down at headquarters. Oh, hi, Sergeant. How's tricks? Well, uh, outside of a couple of twinges in my back, I can't complain. Say, um, Falcon, you were a friend of Ray Sinclair, weren't you? That's right. Then it might interest you to learn that murder runs in the family. What are you babbling about? Danny just knocked off his sister-in-law. No. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. He tried to kill himself afterwards, but he lost his nerve. Listen, Gleason. Hold everything. I'm coming right down. Take your time, Falcon. There's no hurry. The way it looks now, your friend's going to be with us for a long, long time. Check me if I'm wrong, Danny. After you pulled the rod, your sister-in-law tried to move away from you. That's right. Whereupon you made a couple of more speeches and then you let fly at her. What'd you do after that? I turned the gun on myself. Then you passed out? Yes, sir. Well, I think that takes care of everything. Now, if you'll just sign this... Oh, now what? Hey, Gleason, tell him to let me in. All right, George. Hello, Danny. Hello, Mike. How do you feel? Oh, all right, I guess. I want you to tell me exactly what happened. If you don't mind, Falcon, I was here first. Now, go ahead, kid. Sign it. Now, what's that? His confession. Hold it, Danny. Gleason, have you seen Charlie De Silva? You mean the loan shark? Yes. He had a fight with Brenda tonight. She was in hock to him. I heard all about it. We had him on the carpet an hour ago. How come you let him go without informing me? Look, Falcon, I was under the impression the new mayor's name was O'Dwyer. Well, can't you give me a little time to get all the angles? Why do you want to give the kid false hopes? We know who killed the dame. He admits it. He's right, Mike. Yeah, and this is the gun you used, ain't it? Yes, sir, I took it from Mike's apartment. Let's see that. Anything to waste time. Yes, that's mine. Only when he took it, it was fully loaded. Say, wait a minute, Danny. How many shots did you fire at Brenda? One. And one at yourself, is that right? Yes. And before you left my place, you took a pot shot at me. Oh, he did, did he? Now, that's not the point, Gleason. How many shots in all does that make? Uh, don't tell me. Uh, 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 three. All right, Einstein. Look at this chamber. There are four exploded shells in there. How do you explain that? It's easy. He shot the girl twice. Did you find two slugs in her? Well, no. Then what happened to the other bullet? It... Went wild? No, it didn't. I only shot her once, and then I turned the gun on myself. You're lying. Use your head, Gleason. He's admitted killing her. What motive would he have to lie about that missing bullet? It must be somewhere in her room. Did any of your boys find it? What was the point of looking? And you can't have any objections if I do. Falcon, will you stop trying to complicate matters? Come on, Sergeant. Be a sport. Give me an hour to look over Brenda's apartment. If I can't find the shell by that time... I'll advise Danny to sign the confession. There'll be no more horsing around? I give you my word. Okay, here's the key. of that hour have we got left? About 20 minutes. Then we'll have to work a lot faster. Well, there's one sure thing. That slug isn't anywhere on this floor. No. Suppose we try to reconstruct what happened. How? I'll play Danny and you play Brenda. Oh, this ought to be fun. What do I do? Well, according to Danny's story, he was standing over by the sofa. Mm-hmm. Now, you back away from me as if you were afraid. You mean like, like this? Oh, that's perfect. I pull out the gun. Mike, put that thing away. It's all right, dear. I just want to make this as realistic as possible. Well, let's not overdo it. You don't have to point it at me. Don't haggle, Nancy. Get on with your act. Pretend you're Brenda. Now, what would you say? Um, <clears throat> um, now, you wouldn't shoot poor little me. Now, would you, sugar plum? I certainly will if you continue with that sugar plum routine. Where'd you pick that up? From Brenda. Oh. The question is, where did she pick it up? Now, darling, stick to your script. 
Where were we? Oh, yes. You just finished pleading for your life. And it's availed me nothing. Right. So now I shoot. Bang! Am I dead? Very. Just crumpled gracefully to the floor. Oh, that's the way. <sighs> How do I look as a corpse? Not so good. Oh, and I thought I gave a wonderful performance. No. No, something's missing. Did I leave out a sugar plum? Say, wait a minute. I think I've got it. Sure, you know what's wrong with this picture. You didn't have... Mike. I heard it. Maybe someone's coming in here. Just stay quiet. Hello, De Silva. Huh? I said hello. Now shut the door and come in. What are you doing here? Since when I gotta answer your questions? Might be smart if you did. See this? Oh, put that right away, Falk. You're not frightening anybody. Except me. Nancy, phone Sergeant Gleason. Tell him I'm taking De Silva over to my apartment. Ask him to bring Danny there. But, Mike, isn't that highly irregular? Highly. But then, dear, this is a most unconventional murder. You know something, Falcon? I got a hunch you're going to be very sorry about this. And I got a hunch, De Silva, you may be right. Nancy, that must be Sergeant Gleason. Will you let him in? Mm Mm-hmm. Hello, Sergeant. Hiya, Nancy. Oh, and you brought a friend along. How nice. Hiya, Nancy. Fine. Guess who's here? What? Gloria. (laughs) Gloria. Danny, darling. Now, don't ogle Gleason. It's not polite. Oh, Sergeant, I believe you know Mr. De Silva. We've met. Uh. Nancy, will you lock the door, please? Certainly. Um... What will I do with the key? Put it where no one can get it. I know just the place. Hey, don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry, Sergeant. It slipped. Very comical. I know a good one, too. Suppose I tossed you all in the clink. Relax, Gleason. I'll tell you why Nancy did that. It better be good. It is. The killer of Brenda Sinclair is in this room. You don't have to tell me. I brought him here. Well, if you did, he's not getting out alive. What are you talking about? Why do you think I had Nancy lock that door? You expect to sweat a confession out of someone? More than that, Gleason. Give me half an hour and that someone will be sweating blood. Only this time it'll be his own. Well, all I can say is that the Falcon's going to find it slightly grim if he doesn't make good. You know, that's one thing that never worries me when I make statements about the gem way of shaving. Gem always makes good. And now the gem razors are once more available at all dealers. More men than ever before can shave the gem way and so avoid five o'clock shadow. You know, of course, that to get the best out of your gem razor, you must use gem blades. They fit precisely, shave perfectly. Their super keen, deep wedge edge gets the beard at the base, clean and close. No topping the beard. No little islands of stubble left on your chin. You get incredibly close, smooth shaves, which naturally last much longer. That's why we can say that a gem shave will keep your face socially acceptable right around the clock. So try the gem way of shaving. Avoid five o'clock shadow with a gem razor and gem blades. Now back to the adventures of the Falcon. Twenty-five minutes have passed since Mike Waring made his promise to reveal the killer of Brenda Sinclair. And now in the Falcon's apartment. Well, how about it, folks? Anybody feel like confessing? How about you, De Silva? They say it's good for the soul. You can go right... Easy, easy now, fellas. Look, Falcon, a joke's a joke. But... But what? Uh, if you don't open that door... I'm sorry, Gleason. You saw Nancy lose the key. No one's leaving until the murderer confesses. But Danny killed her, didn't you, kid? Well, I'm I'm not so sure now. Say, what goes on here? Well, I only fired three shots out of that gun. So you did. But the chamber shows that four were fired. Maybe you'd like to know what happened to that missing bullet. Did you find it in Brenda's apartment, Falcon? No. That's what put me on the right track. You didn't, so it did. Oh, why didn't I learn a trade? Try to visualize this scene, Sergeant. Because this is what must have happened after Danny shot Brenda. We know. She keeled over dead. That's just it. She wasn't dead then. 
That bullet didn't touch her. And the man's crazy. No one ever saw Brenda unless she was carrying about that pet Pekingese of hers. Wang Pu. It was the only thing she was fond of. So what? Well, that's where your missing bullet went. It hit the dog. What? That's right. And Brenda fainted from sheer fright, as anyone might. But Danny didn't know that. He turned the gun on himself. Next, our murderer enters. He sees Brenda and Danny out cold. So he takes the gun out of Danny's hand and pumps a shot into Brenda. And he exits. But not before he removes the dying dog. Why? He had to. Otherwise, it would give the whole show away. Am I right, De Silva? How would I know that? That's right, you wouldn't. Come to think of it, you had no real motive to kill Brenda. You wanted either Brenda or the money you loaned her. But with her dead, you were out of luck on both counts. So if we want to find our killer, we'll have to look elsewhere for him. Mike, you said him. Then our murderer is a man. Hmm? That was a figure of speech, dear. As it happens, our killer is a woman. Isn't she, Gloria? Huh? That's right. She killed Brenda. What? The whole thing's crazy. I killed her. No, you only thought you did, Danny. Isn't that right, Gloria? What am I supposed to do? Break down and confess? It might help if you want to get out of here. I'm in no hurry. I can stay all night. I hope your guest room is comfortable. I'm afraid you'll never live to use it. I see you've got a Band-Aid on your hand. Is that where Wang Pu nipped you when you picked him up? <sighs> Will this go on much longer? Not much. I had some of the blood on Brenda's carpet analyzed. It was dog's blood. And the vet told me that the hound had rabies. And whoever handled it was bound to get hydrophobia. Do they have hydrophobia, Gloria? You're not frightening me. You must have gotten that bite around 10 o'clock. That means the incubation period is almost over. Maybe a half hour more. They tell me unless you get to a doctor fast, it starts off with a burning sensation. By the way, Gloria, how does that hand feel? Kind of itchy, hmm? Stop. Stop it, Mike. You're not funny. It's an awful temptation to scratch it, isn't there? You better watch out for that, darling. That spreads the infection all the faster. Cut it out. For heaven's sake, cut it out. Why, Gloria, where are you going? That door's locked, remember? Let me out of here. Let me out. I've got to get to a doctor, please. Please, let me out. <laughs> Michael. Mm hmm? There wasn't any blood on Brenda's carpet. That's right. And that pooch didn't have rabies. Of course not. It was a nice touch, though, wasn't it? Oh, lovely. It just goes to prove what a terrible thing a guilty conscience can be. Yes, but I still don't understand why Gloria killed Brenda. Oh, she didn't intend to originally. She thought Danny was going to do it for her. But when he fumbled the ball, she had to do the job herself. I, I don't follow you. Well, Gloria knew the cops would grab Danny for the murder. You mean she wanted to get rid of him? That was her fondest desire. When Ray went to the chair, Danny became a rich kid. If anything happened to him... His money would go to Gloria. Natch, could you ask for a better motive? Then when she bawled Danny out before he left... She was just trying to goad him on. Mm -hmm. But, Mike... Now, darling, I've told you everything. Oh, no. There's one thing you forgot. What? Brenda called you sugar plums. How do you explain that? Oh, Nancy, let's not go into that now. It's a long story. Oh, but that's the kind I like best. Come here, darling. Uh, now, yeah. Michael, stop it. You're not going to get out of it like that. I didn't intend to, dear. You wanted to hear the story of Brenda and Sugar Plum. Yes. Well, what you got just then was uh, the prologue. <laughs> Murder is a grave situation. Murder is a grave situation. That's the title of next week's Adventure of the Falcon when Mike Waring learns that even those with double trouble can only die once. So be sure and listen next week at this same time to another gay, exciting Adventure of the Falcon. And in the meanwhile, avoid five o'clock shadow with a gem razor and gem blade. The Adventures of the Falcon are based on the famous character created by Drexel Drake. James Meehan was starred as the Falcon. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.